She was terribly swollen, had blood pressure problems, breathing problems, and there was major concerns that she wasn't going to survive. Jared came home and we decided to head into hospital. Uh, I still remember really clearly holding each other's hands on the way in and saying it was going to be okay um, and that everything would be fine, it would just better to check. And then my obstetrician came in with an ultrasound and she kept looking at me saying that, I'm so sorry, but your, your baby has passed away. There was this excitement that we were going to become parents and then real, a real sadness to it as well of this beautiful little face that wasn't going to be in our family. Our other baby was dying as well. So she was having nutrition through the IV, but there was nothing getting past. And so she was expanding and the fluid overload in her body uh, was huge. When you're accumulating fluid, the fluid goes into all the body compartments, including the lungs. So the more fluid that accumulates, the more the respiratory support needs to be there, the, the ventilation. And the more difficult it is for that child to then potentially tolerate a surgical procedure. And the doctor's not been able to give you an update as to whether, one, she was going to live, uh, but two, what, what you're going to look forward to, because they just couldn't tell us. We can't plan for more than a day ahead when we're in a situation like Quinny was in for the first week or two weeks. We plan for the next four to six hours. They were sort of saying, if this next treatment doesn't work, um, there's not much else we can do. So we try and give the family the best chance of having a, a quality of life and not being stuck in hospital. And that needs a lot of support for the family. Constant calls back and forward, and that's largely done through our peritoneal dialysis nurse consultant. My purpose of donating my kidney was to, for Quinny to have a better life. For Rod to come forward and say that he was willing to put his life in danger to save Quinny was just the most beautiful gift. We got the phone call to say that she was out and that it was a huge success. And then this burst of energy just came with it. We feel like Quinny's life started after transplant. Just watching her completely flourish has just been so good. We focus on gratitude, the things that have gone really well and the things that we are so lucky to have. We always talk about that Harriet comes as butterflies, so very, very strange times of holidays and things, there will be a butterfly around us and usually a butterfly playing around Quinny. And we always know she's sort of, is not too far from us. 